Hello friends, this is the last lecture of gastric carcinoma. So here, I would like to uh, discuss about the um, histological classification of advanced gastric carcinoma, uh, which is from pathology. Complete. This is completely from pathology. Histologically, advanced gastric carcinoma is divided into majorly five types so number one ulcerative carcinoma number two polypoid or fungating carcinoma number three serous or linitis plastica number four mucoid or colloid carcinoma and number five ulcer cancer right so these are the five types of uh, carcinomas according to histological grading which is from pathology in fact so number one ulcerative carcinoma in ulcerative carcinoma this is the stomach So this is the stomach. So in the stomach you see a tumor. That tumor is flat infiltrating ulcerative growth with irregular necrotic base. With irregular necrotic base. This is ulcerative carcinoma. So, what are the things that are seen here? So, here you will have a uh, uh, epithelium. And then after the epithelium, you will see a poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma. You'll see a poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma. Poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma is seen in ulcerative carcinoma. So this is histological feature of ulcerative carcinoma. So now coming to the second one, which is fungating or polypoid carcinoma so in this what do you see in this you see a tumor which is here which is polypoid like so if you which is basically cauliflower growth cauliflower growth is project is projecting into the lumen that is fungating or polypoid carcinoma so now after this fungating or polypoid carcinoma this has if you see histologically this has a polypoid pattern So these are the, uh, this is the lumen, so it is projecting into the lumen and this is the adenocarcinoma which is seen. Okay, so this is polypoid pattern. And it is adenocarcinoma again which is well differentiated so this is fungating or polypoid carcinoma now coming to the third type of carcinoma which is serous or linitis plastica 
in this type of carcinoma majorly here the stomach wall is thickened oh i'm sorry yeah here mainly the stomach wall is thickened so this is the stomach thing okay the stomach wall is completely thickened so thus reducing the lumen this is the tumor so here stomach wall is thickened and then lumen is reduced what do you see histologically histologically these are the rugal folds columnar epithelium and then the characteristic is presence of signet cells so these are the signet cells which are seen and in between the signet cells there is fibrosis fibroblasts fibrosis so this is what is seen in histologically histologically you see this fibrosis it is called as desmoplasia and also you see a signet ring cell and fibrosis fibroblasts right so this is uh, the uh, feature of linitis plastica so let us learn some salient features where about linitis plastica this linitis plastica it is also called as there is a name because of this uh, thickened uh, stomach wall it is called as leather bottle stomach so what is this type so it is an aggressive type of carcinoma where there is uh i'm sorry uh, there is proliferation of fibrous tissue fibroblast leading to fibro fibrous tissue proliferation in submucosa uh the mucosa is normal and because of this signet ring cells so this is called has mother of pearl appearance so let me write in another way this is called has mother of pearl appearance and this is majorly type 4 gastric carcinoma right so now what are the clinical features the clinical features the first clinical feature is loss of appetite because of the thickened stomach there is less lumen so there is early satiety feeling so thus loss of appetite and then loss of weight and then we feel a mass palpable from body of the stomach on investigations first if you do barium meal you see narrowed lumen of the stomach just i'll draw how it looks narrowed lumen this my this color uh if you think this is the barium meal this pink color is barium meal then you see the lumen to be completely narrowed so this is what you see in barium meal narrowed lumen and then you can do endosonography which shows that uh, fibroblastic proliferation in the uh, submucosa so this is diagnostic and then what is the treatment the treatment is uh, you will have this um, right this is the lumen so what you do is you will have to do gastrectomy and do esophago jejunal anastomosis by ron y technique 
okay you will have this is ron y rocks and y mm. esophago jejunostomy so you do total gastrectomy first and then uh esophago jejunostomy can be done so this is about serous carcinoma or linitis plastica there is one more tumor which is uh called has fourth one which is colloid or mucoid carcinoma this is most common tumor in the fundus of the stomach this is one tumor this is the other one right so this is the tumor more common in fundus so how do you see histologically histologically this is the uh, epithelium and then you see pools of mucus so there are many pools of mucus so in the pools of mucus you see signet ring cells that is very few signet ring cells in pools of mucus right so here you see this is signet ring cells and here pools of mucus so here you see abundant mucus with signet ring cells so this is the fourth type of carcinoma which is colloid or mucoid carcinoma now the fifth type of cancer is ulcer cancer so what is this in ulcer cancer you have a tumor here this is a tumor in the tumor there is an ulcer so this is called has tumor in ulcer or sometimes there may be development of cancer in chronic gastric ulcer it is rare so basically tumor is not giving rise to ulcer here here this ulcer is giving rise to the tumor that is the difference generally we'll have ulcerative type in ulcerative type there is a tumor later the edges breach resulting in ulcer but here in ulcer cancer there is an ulcer which um, will transform into tumor so ulcer gives rise to tumor here that is ulcer cancer so what do you see here here you see this is the normal one so this is the ulcer normal epithelium in here ulcer this here completely uh, all this is normal there is muscle cells also there are cells here and this is muscle cell and then there is um, circular muscles also okay so this is completely normal this picture this here is normal and here because of this ulcer there is development of cancer so that is here there is uh, what do we say inflammatory cells all the inflammatory cells are there in the ulcer and then there is development of adenocarcinoma so this is the adeno carcinoma so generally there is already an ulcer which is present this is normal and here there is an ulcer so this is ulcer and this is adenocarcinoma cells so this is what we call has ulcer cancer so these are the histological variants which are seen in um, carcinoma stomach 
so in our next class we will learn about a new topic in the stomach which is uh, gastritis uh thank you guys for watching my lecture if you feel something is inadequate and if you feel something is needed to be added for this lecture please comment it in the comment section thank you for watching my video